afternoon and thank you for your warm welcome. Thank you very much. Bon après-midi. Bonjour et merci. It's a great day to be a progressive conservative, don't you think? It sure is. I want to begin by thanking my family for their support. My father, Brody, and my mother, Charlotte. My father spent a, a half century providing compassionate health care to the people of this province, and he's still going. He's inspired me to public service. My mother's been a steady hand of strength and discipline and love throughout my whole life. And in particular, I want to thank my wife, Kelly, my boys, Brody and Ronan. It's been a long campaign to get to this day, and I'm grateful for your love and support and patience. Thank you so much. It's been a long campaign, but it's been a journey I'll remember and treasure for the rest of my life. I really will. It's been such a pleasure to meet so many Islanders, many of you here today. It's reminded me what a privilege it is to live in this province and that the people of this island are its greatest strength and asset. Les derniers mois m'ont rappelé à quel point c'est un privilège de vivre sur cette île et que les gens de cette province sont sa plus grande force et atout. My roots run deep in Prince Edward Island, and I'm proud of that. The Lance family arrived here in the mid-1800s. My great-grandfather, Joseph Theodore Lance, married Bessie Murkison in Belfast in 1888. Farmhouse, farmers, lighthouse keepers, merchant mariners, physicians, processors, politicians, homemakers, they're all a part of my history, my DNA. I look back and marvel at the optimism, the hope and determination, the hard work, and I want to reignite that spirit within you and within every Prince Edward Islander. I want us to believe again. I'm a progressive conservative. I'm an Islander. And I'm proud of this party. I'm proud of this province. But I believe that we're at, a, we're at a turning point in the history of Prince Edward Island, ladies and gentlemen. We're faced with enormous fiscal pressures, demographic challenges. The future of the province is at stake. I've had a lot of conversations with Islanders over the last few months, and the message has been clear and consistent whether visiting potato farmers in East Point, or Fishers in Tignish, or with businesses in Summerside and Charlottetown. We must be open to new ideas and willing to embrace change. My fellow progressive conservatives, my message is simple. It's time for a new direction. I don't pretend to have all the answers, nobody does. But I'm a problem solver. I know how to listen. I know how to weigh the evidence, analyze the facts, and I know how to make decisions. And ladies and gentlemen, I know how to make things happen. It's time for unity. It is time for unity, ladies and gentlemen. I've heard that a lot today. It's time for hard work, smart decisions. It's time for humility and listening. It's time for building on our strengths and tackling our weaknesses. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, to move forward while never losing sight of our past. We must take inspiration from our heritage, but adapt to the world of tomorrow. Il est temps, madame, monsieur d'avancer sans jamais perdre vue de notre passé. 
Nous devons nous inspirer de notre passé, mais se adapter au monde de demain. In my travels across this island, you've told me that you're worried about a debt that is out of control. And because of that debt, you're concerned about the future of your communities, of the province. You're concerned about education for our children who are falling behind, and health care that's not there when it's needed. Farmers and fishers worry about their industries and their futures. They worry that they're not understood. Business people wonder if government will ever stop sending them forms to fill out and new taxes to pay. And all of these conversations have reminded me why I'm standing here today asking for your support as the leader of this party. The problems and challenges are not difficult to identify. I can stand here for hours and recite the programs and policies that have brought us to this place. We're at a crossroad, and the people of Prince Edward Island want a vision for a better tomorrow and someone to lead the way. I will lead the way. But I know from my two terms in municipal government and from a long career in the private sector that policy initiatives and program announcements are only part of the equation. Politics is about bringing people together, giving them the opportunity and the tools to feel engaged in the process. It's about giving people a, a voice and truly listening. Leadership is the process not only of foreseeing the need for change, but of making the case for change. That is what leadership is all about. It's not about pretending to have all the answers, ladies and gentlemen. It's about listening to each and every one of you, the people who understand the challenges, because you live with them every day. It's about giving you the tools you need to meet those challenges. That is what I mean when I talk about a new direction. I want to help build communities that are sustainable because they are prosperous. I want to work with you to build communities that are empowered to steer their own course and realize their own potential. Together, we can build a future for our children on a solid foundation of an unrivaled education system that helps island students be the best. I want families to be able to stay together because there's work all year round. I want to help build a province that honors its past while keeping its eye firmly on the future. That, my fellow progressive conservatives, is why I'm standing here today asking for your support. This government has allowed a mood of insecurity and fear and resentment to settle in across this province. We need confident, proud, and secure communities where islanders can get quality jobs. We need a workforce with the skills to meet the needs of local employers right here on Prince Edward Island. Ladies and gentlemen, we need a new plan to take what we have right here in our own backyard and leverage that into value-added products and services. We need a new food strategy that better promotes our world-class products to export markets, that better connects local food to local consumers, to restaurants and public institutions, our hospitals, our manors, our, manors, our schools. We need to welcome newcomers who choose to make Prince Edward Island their home because they bring new ideas and contacts from all around the world. They enrich us. We need to work together to protect our environment while building the infrastructure for a global economy. We need to embrace an entrepreneurial spirit that is not afraid to fail. We need to embrace change.
I've told you why I'm here today, but I want to ask you a question. Why are you here today? Did you come here to be told what's best for you and your family? That one person can solve all your problems, meet all the challenges that come your way in life? I don't think so. Or did you come here today looking for a new kind of leadership that listens first because it cares what you think? <laughs> leadership that isn't afraid to say what it can do to help and what it cannot do. A leadership that cares about you, your family, and your community. Did you come here today looking for a new direction? <laughs> Ensemble, nous pouvons amener cette province dans une nouvelle direction. My fellow progressive conservatives, ladies and gentlemen, islanders, this is our moment. I am reaching out to you today to join with me to create a new era of prosperity for Prince Edward Island. A new era of prosperity for our youth, our newcomers, for a whole generation yet to come. I will unite this party. I want to lead this party and form the next government of Prince Edward Island. I'm reaching out to you today to build a better tomorrow. Come with me in a new direction. A new direction for Prince Edward Island, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.